Happy Facebook Live time and happy Thursday. Um, welcome to Melissa's Crafting Treehouse and to my weekly episode of Treehouse T TV. <laughs> this is my, um, this is a special night. I've got some really fun things planned, some gifts and prizes, giveaways, some new announcements about um, things going on. Uh, so super excited. I'm going to be doing what I call a rewind redo project tonight. So I'm going to be taking something that I um, created when I was a novice demonstrator way back when and redoing it with a new twist. So um, I also have something special in store that I sort of an add on. I've done sort of rewind redo projects before, um, but this time I'm also going to do a fast forward. <laughs> It's my new thing. Anyway, um, hello, Karen. Hello. Um, let's see. Leah. Leah. Hi, Linda. Good to see people joining in. Hi, Robin. Yay. So I'm actually going to get us started. Um, again, we have prizes and giveaways. I'm going to show you all of that, some announcements. But what I really want to start with is a quote from this book. It's called Expect to Win. So even though today, thank you so much for the, the well wishes on my 18 year anniversary. So yes, today, um, actually Sunday is technically my 18 year anniversary. The festivities are gonna go on for this Facebook Live and next week's Facebook Live. And then I have a special going on through the 20th of March. So, you know, it's just like your birthday. One day's not enough. So for my anniversary, one day's not enough. So it has to be like 10 days. <laughs> so yay. Now, um, I did want to say that this is not just a celebration of my anniversary. In my opinion, and I, we'll talk about this as we go, it's a celebration of this craft that we love, right? I mean, I know you wouldn't be here if you didn't love it as much as I did, and I wouldn't be here if I didn't love it as much as I do 18 years later. <laughs> so anyway, a celebration of what we all love. And so I have, um, I found this book sitting around the house, Expect to Win. Um, it's a, a book that my husband's, you know, my husband bought for some work related thing, but it caught my eye and I got super excited. So I was like, I'm going to read one of these every day. So today's just seemed like a perfect one to read to get us started. Um, so here goes, um, I'm going to do my best. It took me about a minute to get through this. I timed myself. Okay. So the world looks brighter behind a smile. That's the theme for the day. Um, and this quote, so it goes, uh, my wife and I love to laugh. In fact, people who've, who have known us for years have always commented about how we're always laughing. I don't know it's, if it's my excellent jokes or more likely her wonderful sense of humor. Um, all I know is that when you can laugh at something, you can live with it. I think it's a pretty safe bet that we've laughed every day for the 35 years we've been married. Hey, that's, um, there's a good uh, marriage lesson, right? <laughs> There is a, a there's a, um, a facelift you can perform yourself that is guaranteed to improve your appearance. It's called a smile, a facelift. Yay. <laughs> um, a smile is a curve that helps us see things straight. It's a curve that you throw at another, which always results in a hit. A smile goes a long way, but you're the one who must start it on its journey. So smile often, give your frown a rest. Abraham Lincoln says, most folks are about as happy as they make their minds up to be. So cheer up. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, and then just gonna finish it off with, um, take heart the words of Mosh Waldock's uh, quote, a sense of humor can help you overlook the unattractive, tolerate the unpleasant, cope with the unexpected and smile through the unbearable. Your day goes the way the corners of your mouth turn. <laughs> so there you go. I hope you guys um, enjoy that. Um, I, I found it to be just so fun. And because paper crafting, I know it brings a smile to all your faces. I know it brings a smile to mine. You know, who, who, who crafts and frowns, except for maybe when you're concentrating. <laughs> But uh, one of my goals is just is to make crafting easier for people. So um, more smiles, less, you know, less struggle. Um, so let's have lots of fun. All right. So let's launch right in. I hope you guys enjoyed that little quote. So I'm going to start with an announcement as a reminder, prizes and giveaways. I'm going to show you those in a minute. Um, and I've got several projects to show you today, a rewind, redo and a fast forward. <laughs> so, um, all right, so one of the things I'm doing for my 18 year anniversary is I'm offering a special. Now I joined during celebration 18 years ago in January. Um, well, I didn't join in January. My party that I hosted was in January. 
And uh, so it's fitting that some of my special offer relates to celebration. So there's gonna be lots of prizes and giveaways, up to eight free gifts, and it is based upon um, the amount of orders. So I'm gonna be giving away card kits, various embellishments and tools, um, some celebration items, uh, both from this recent celebration and past celebrations, um, some designer paper samplers. So um, let me just show you a little bit of what the options are. I'm not going to go through too much, but there is a designer paper sampler of three of the four designer series papers. This little goodie includes um, 18 pieces. When you place a $50 order, you get this, plus you can choose between free card kits, one or the other. This is from the last few sets. Um, or you can choose from a variety of embellishments. And these were all in my newsletter. Um, I shared those just recently. And then, um, so that's at fi the $50 level. At $75, you get to pick a, a level one item. And I have, this is just the different um, categories of items that I have. Again, those are on my website. I have more than that. And then um, that's at 75 at 100, you get to pick a level two item. And the way I'm doing the level two items is a little bit different. So you guys may remember this one, Thoughtful Blooms. Um, but when, when you choose this item, you also get the punch. So that's kind of a nice little bonus. That's a level two item. That was one of the ones from last year, although I think, um, I'm not sure, I don't know that it was bundled as a level two, but either way, that's how I'm doing it. This is a level two from this year, a touch of ink. Um, and let's see if I picked any ones. If I have the stamp set for that um, particular, I'm sorry, if I have a sample for that particular um, st uh, stamp set or item, you will see it in the back. So I have included samples wherever I have them. So this is also a level two item. This was from last year, Power of Hope. So it comes with the embossing folder and the set. And last but not least, you guys may remember this, Berry Blessings. We're actually gonna use that in tonight's project. It's a super cute little project. So uh, for a level two item, you get this and you'll get a sampler of this lovely, um, uh, what is, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the coordinating designer paper that also actually coordinates with um, the sweet strawberry suite as well. And then when you spend 200, you can pick one of these. Now these were the hostess sets. Um, this, this one from last year's celebration, this one from this year's, you would have had to spend $300 to get these. You only have to spend 200 now to get them. So <clears throat> I'll show you a sample on the back, that little ladybug. So that one actually has a sample in it. So wherever I have samples, I'm going to give those away as well, just for fun. Um, and then at 200, you also get to pick, um, from some embellishments. So there's an embossing folder you can choose from, take your pick tool, Wink of Stella. So lots of goodies and gifts and fun for giveaways, for orders between now and the 20th of March. So that's my little uh, offer celebration, extra goodies. So up to eight gifts. Um, the eighth one is a tutorial bundle, which everybody gets at the $50 level. So Hopefully people will get excited about that and you'll have some, be able to get some of the things maybe you didn't have, um, uh, that you don't have already. <clears throat> All right. The other thing announced in my newsletter is my butterfly bouquet stamp camp. It's actually the Makers Mojo team um, stamp camp. Um, I'm teaming up with Wendy Lee and Melanie Hawkin and we are putting together a class with 12 projects. Um, it's a stamp camp to go, we're calling it. So you'll get materials to make one each of 12 different projects, some fun folds, some really fun inside elements. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Now with the, um, the stamp camp, you get a full pack of the Butterfly Bijou designer paper. It's over $40 in product, a pack of this, um, other, uh, designer paper, the natural touch specialty paper. Both of these papers are, um, only available while supplies last. Um, hopefully they'll last until um, May. And then you also get some embellishments that you'll be using on your projects. So all of these consumables, you'll use a bunch of them on the projects that we've each designed. So we planned that intentionally. So it's over $40 in product. 
and to make the designs as um, as we've as we've designed them, you will need the Butterfly Brilliance bundle, the stamp set and the dies. If you don't get one or the other, or you don't get either, then of course you will just need to make the projects um, as well as you can. We're using the designer paper a lot um, with the dies, um, and in some cases using the stamps as well. We're going to use the stamps tonight uh, on my fast forward project. So. It's a great bundle. This bundle will also be in the annual catalog that um, goes live the beginning of May. So that's, you know, that's the other big thing going on is the Butterfly Bouquet Stamp Camp. Um, the RSVP deadline for that is March 27th, but there is one little caveat. I have this special um, for my anniversary, my 18 year anniversary. Um, hi, Lorley. <laughs> See you, your name on the screen there. Um, that goes through March 20th. So here's the deal. There is also an add-on option, and the add-on option is you can add the Butterfly Brilliance bundle, that stamp and set of dies, oh, and or you can add on this, the um, sentiment set that we're using that is Happy Thoughts, it's called. Um, this is all inf information on my website. Um, if you do those add-ons, you'll be bringing your purchase level to a level where you would be eligible for my 18 year anniversary celebration perks, okay? So you can kinda double up. Now if you just buy the class, um, that it's actually $60 for the class with $40 a product, or more than $40 a product in it, <clears throat> plus card kits in the mail, um, uh, that you won't be eligible for because it's not enough product to get you to that $50 level. But if you do either or both of the add-ons, then you will reach those thresholds. You, the only caveat is you have to sign up and pay by the 20th of March. So you'll be eligible for my 18 year anniversary special offer. Okay, so that's, that's the deal. <laughs> Let me know if you have questions. Um, there is my latest blog post is all about the Butterfly Bouquet Stamp Camp. Um, and my latest newsletter, newsletter has all the information about my 18 year anniversary special. Now, um, <clears throat> you should also know that in order to be privy to this 18 year anniversary special offer, you do need to be a newsletter subscriber. So um, I'm only making it available to newsletter subscribers. So subscribe uh, if you're not already, and I will forward you the latest newsletter so you'll have all of those details. Um, just a perk for being part of my newsletter. So, all right, so we're, we're gonna have prizes for today, but we also had prizes last week. So um, last week we had three winners of the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle, which was the Hydrangea Hill um, uh, Simple Sweet Stampers bundle, which is 12 tutorials. We do one every month, but the Hydrangea Hill was the theme this month. And the winners were Tracy Weeks, Robin Lacey, and Susan Tipton. Each of them have been emailed the link to that tutorial bundle. So, um, uh, so yay, congratulations to you guys. Um, all right, um, where are we now? Okay, so prizes. Okay, you want to know what the prizes are today? And it's important that you know because I'm going to actually invite you to let me know which prize you want when you comment and uh, for opportunities to win the different prizes. All right, so um, I'm basically marrying old with new. Okay, so rewind, redo. We're going back to the olden days. <laughs> crafting project wise and new stuff. So I've got some things that are retired, some things that I've made years ago and some things that are new. So one of the things that I made years ago is this set of tiles, tile coasters. Um, you, uh, you may recognize some of those images. They're lacquered and finished. So that's one of the gifts. This next one is a pack of designer series paper. It's 48 sheets. It is a medley. This was a sampler of designer series paper um, that I purchased. I can't, I don't even remember how or why, but I did and did not end up using any of it. So it is a gift for somebody. And then um, as for older things, um, this is a, a sampler of retired items. So you might recognize these. These are sort of the old version of our alcohol markers. I can't even remember what they're called. Um, and then there's some embellishments in there and it's more designer paper, a medley of different designer papers in there. So those are the four gifts for tonight. Um, actually, I missed one. That was only three. <laughs> the fourth one is a pack of these holiday rhinestones decorated with that cute, adorable, very delightful designer series paper. Um, and then everybody who gets one of these four gifts also gets a little bonus thing. So um, some of you may recognize these because uh, I have shared them at least once before. 
So before I share this, I'm going to share my shirt. Have you guys seen my I'm a Treehouse Chick shirt? <laughs> probably backwards for you guys. Anyway, I always, I wear this and then I forget to show it. Um, but I love my little sparkly, I'm a trails chick shirt. So anyway, when, when you, if you win one of the gifts, you also get one of these cute, adorable little bags with my logo on it. Um, and, uh, so everybody will get one of these who wins all four of the people who win. Um, Sally Powers, who often joins us here. She's one of my team members. She made these bags for me, the sweetest gift like ever, the gift that keeps on giving. She sent me a whole bunch of them. Um, and it's got, I just, anyway, I love them. They're just great little bags for carrying a small quantity of things around perfect for cards or whatever. So anyway, everybody will get one of those. So those are the gifts. So I should make a note tiles. Tiles is one of the categories. Designer paper um, pack. Retired medley. I need to be writing these names down. <laughs> and holiday rhinestones. Those are the four. And I'm saying them again because um, I'm going to ask you to, if you have a preference for what gift you might win, if you happen to win, um, I will take that into consideration. So I'm going to ask you guys to not only, okay, share, right? So the last several weeks I've been asking you to share with your friends, tag your friends. This is a great time to tag your friends. And because I'm going to be doing prizes and giveaways more than I usually do next week as well, you may want to invite your friends sooner rather than later. Make sure that they tune in next week. Um, trying very hard to sort of build up my, um, my audience of people who um, watch what I share and, and join in for our Treehouse TV uh, episode. So um, you can share uh, here on Facebook or if you're watching on YouTube or watching on the replay, you can share on Instagram or Pinterest. Or, well, not Pinterest really, but um, <laughs> anywhere that you want. Um, so yeah, and when you're on my website, you can also share from my website. If you, you might see the little um, icons on the left-hand side to share to Facebook or Pinterest. Um, so share, share, share. But as far as the prizes are concerned, um, if you share during this Facebook Live and if you... Um, uh, tag a friend or more than one, you will automatically get entered into the drawing. And here's the first uh, other way you can get entered. So I want you to use the hashtag, hashtag three things I love. Um, as I mentioned at the very beginning, um, this is not just a celebration of my 18 years as a demonstrator. This is a celebration of the crafts and how much joy it brings to us. So I want to know, um, three things that you love about the craft. So do hashtag, hashtag three things I love, just like that, however, um, and I will, I'll search that, that um, hashtag. And then just, you can say, I love ink, whatever you want. You can say, I love friendships that, you know, you can say whatever the words are, um, put in the hashtag and for each entry, you will get another entry in the drawing. So yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of them. Um, and if you want to add on, to your entry, something like tiles, because uh, you want the coasters, tile coasters, um, you can do that too, and then I'll know what your preference is. I'm always like big about giving you what you want, <laughs> giving choices. Sometimes my uh, too many choices, but <laughs> but I love to have people have what they want. Okay. Oh, I see people tagging. Yay! <laughs> um, wonderful. Okay, so. Um, all right, so that's the first hashtag. Hashtag three things I love, and it's about paper crafting. So you guys go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna try to go back and remember to comment on, to give you new tash, hashtags periodically. Um, uh, the other thing, one quick thing, and then I'm gonna go to demonstrating because I know time is ticking away. Um, last week I mentioned that there is a bell on your screen, or there should be, when you're watching a Facebook Live. And if you click on the bell and it becomes filled in, then you're actually subscribed to know when I go live. Now, I was on somebody else's, it seemed to be mixed information from people saying, oh, I don't see the bell, I do see the bell, I've clicked the bell, I don't know. Um, <laughs> on last week's Facebook Live when I brought it up. So um, when I was watching someone else's Facebook Live this past week, in fact, my friend Wendy, my Wendy Lee, um, I actually had to click on the video so that it was, I think, a bigger screen. And then um, I think the bell showed up. It was either then or when I clicked on the three little dots. Anyway, something to try. Just know it won't necessarily be in every Facebook Live screen, but it has to be, you can only click the bell when you're on a live video, when you're watching a live video. So like now, look now. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, let's go to the projects. So I am going to face my camera down and we're going to get started. So today's project, this is just 
the cutest little thing. So um, my redo is not necessarily any more complicated or requiring of a whole lot of greater skill than the original project. I have to show you the original project. Now, um, it's a little bit early, early for this, but you know, it's sort of a summertime theme thing. Um, but you know, you can do this anytime. So get, check this out. It is the cutest little, um, oh yay, Jolaine, you love glitter, ink, rubber stamps, yay. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, you clicked the bell, Mary Beth, wonderful. I love it. Okay, I get distracted. So check out this cute little popsicle card. <laughs> That's just adorable with a bite taken out. So of course this used an old stamp set and old punches that we don't have. So I got to remake this and guess what? Guess what I remade it with? So much fun. This is actually the first I've really played with this. So I played with my berry blessings because of course it's got fruit, right? Fruit, perfect for the popsicle thing. Oh, I just gave you a sneak peek. I didn't want to show you that one yet. <laughs> All right, you'll see that before too long. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna remake it with, um, it's actually a tiny bit bigger than the last one. And I did that because this piece is actually Anybody recognize the size? It is four and a quarter by five and a half. Woohoo! A quarter sheet. Perfect, right? Folded in half. This is a tiny bit smaller than that. Oh, yay. Okay, yay. Okay. I love it. Okay, I see all the people commenting and saying what they love and people tagging people. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Okay, so we're going to remake this with current products. And I'm going to start with just punching the four corners and I'm using this what is it called detailed trio punch which has three ways that you can punch so one of them is the rounding the corner and then you've also got a little hole and you've got this little decorative element there so I'm just going to do my four sides and yes I am going to tape to, through two layers technically you're not supposed to do that with punches but hey you can see it works pretty fine so just don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right, and then I'm just gonna punch my inside piece. I've used my um, a combination of the layering circles dies to, punch, to um, die cut and punch these pieces. So these are the layering circles pieces. And then this piece that goes in behind is just a two inch circle punch. So we're gonna start by stamping uh, my, my berries. <laughs> I'm using garden green for my leaves. And this is a two step stamp. So I've got an inside, um, an inside stamped element and an outside, outside layer element. Um, let's see, hold on a sec. I'm looking for something that I am now, there we go. All right. So I'm going to stamp this so that it's, it's actually, I've got it sort of upside down, but it's going to hang sort of like that. Okay. And then I've got the other stamp on the other side. This is going to fill it in and I'm going to stamp off because I'm using the same ink, garden green. All right. And next, I'm bringing in my Pacific Point. Now I've done these berries in Pacific Point. It's very bright and cheerful. You can also do it in Night of Navy. And I've seen them also in um, Rich Razzleberry. Yeah, so you know, like the underripe blueberry. All right, so now I'm gonna do my outside image first. And I'm gonna face that that way. Stamp my outside, and then of course, for my inside, I'm gonna stamp it off. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but if I'm gonna pick jam, well, I'm gonna ask you guys first, what flavor of jam do you guys like? Blueberry, strawberry, raspberry? What kind of popsicle do you like? <laughs> What's your go-to? Comment and let me know. There isn't a hashtag, just, you know, inquiring minds want to know. 
And I will just tell you that my favorite is, thank you, Charlotte. Thank you for the anniversary wishes. Um, my favorite, if I'm going to go for a jam or a popsicle, it's always strawberry or blueberry. Isn't that pretty? So pretty and simple. And then I'm going to just go ahead and attach this to my Pacific Point layer. And then that one's, this one's going to go on dimensionals. So let's actually fast forward. I'm going to fast forward a few steps because I can. <laughs> Magic of TV. Yahoo. Okay, so we got this one, which is actually done with Granny Apple Green, just to kind of compare. What do you think works better? They're both fine, right? Garden Green, Granny Apple Green. And then I've got dimensionals on the back side of this already. Okay, that's already got adhesive on the back side. Now I want to show you how to do the, um, the little bite. Okay, so I got started with it to begin with. Just used um, one of my um, scalloped edge circles from the uh, circles, layering circle dies, and punched that out. Now, the trick to doing the inside is we want to get that piece in place. It's a little bit small, but I, that's, that'll just be okay. And then I'm just going to um, layer that on there. Actually, I take it back. This is how I did it. I went like that. I guess I, did, I can do it either way. Where's my pencil? It actually would probably be easier to do it this way, as long as I don't get pencil mark on my blue. So I'm just marking the spot. Super easy. And then I'll grab my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Now, um, I have an order going in this weekend, and guess what I'm getting? I'm going to get the mini and stamp and cut and emboss machine. Oh, you strawberry and cherry. Oh yeah, I forgot about cherry. Cherry is another favorite for jam and popsicles. Thank you for reminding me, Kathy. <laughs> okay, so now I have my little, I, I, I should have drawn them a little bit clearer. That's what I did on my first one. But all I'm doing is just kind of lining up my die. So it sort of mirrors the shape. Um, now when I did this the first time, like I said, I actually drew drew a hard line. <laughs> There's what I did the first time. I actually drew the scallops. I, you know, I was doing, doing the rush thing and didn't actually draw them, but it'll be fine. So I'm just gonna pop that in there, die cut it. I'm excited for my little mini stamp and cut and boss machine because the mini you can actually get as a 50% off item, whereas the, the maxi, as I will call this one, <laughs> the maxi, you can't. Okay, let's see. Strawberry jam, sugar. Okay, who else? Okay, good. Just looking for comments when I have a second. Okay, so that's going to be going on the inside. And before I actually do that, I'm going to stamp a couple of my blueberries with my Pacific Point. Now you can see on this one, it's got. Um, the oranges and a few select spots. So I'm going to choose basically similar spots for my elements. And there we go. Stamp off. I love stamping off. It's one of my favorite and probably one of the first techniques I ever learned. Oh, that would be another good one. What's the first technique you ever learned? Hashtag first technique. <laughs> Comment and let me know. Um, hi, Fran. Good to see you here. <laughs> Hashtag first technique you ever learned and loved. So stamping off. That's what I'm saying. That's like, for anybody who doesn't know what it is, it's what I just did. You can do multiple generations of ink and get all kinds of dimension and depth, and they're perfect for... Uh, for when you have two-step stamping, right? So first generation, second generation, third, fourth, fifth. You can see you can keep going and going. It's like it's not just about first, second, or third, right? You can do fourth, fifth, sixth, and keep going until there's no more ink on that paper. And it just adds, or on the stamp, I should say, 
and it just adds so much dimension to the project. Anyway, that's my little two cents. First technique was sponging. Oh, well, that makes sense too. Sponging and tearing, right? That's another, another first one for me. All right. Ooh, blending a galaxy background. That was your first technique? Oh my goodness, Kimmy. You went straight to like the advanced. <laughs> so that's crazy. Crazy and cool. I'm impressed. Don't think I started with that fancy stuff at first. Okay. So there's my, oh geez, what am I doing? I forgot to, I forgot to, I was supposed to die cut that side too. <laughs> Oh my lord. Okay, so that's going to happen afterwards. I don't know, maybe I have to do it now. It was supposed to happen when I did the first side, but what was I thinking? Um, I might just have to show you the other one that's... Did I finish this one? No, I don't think I finished this one. Dang it, I have to do it. Bring that big shot, that big stampin' cut and emboss machine mouthful of a comment back in here, because this has to happen. Alright, so we're just going to line this up and do it exactly over where I did it the first time. And that should work okay. Because otherwise I can't finish this card. That's gonna be tricky. Okay, getting it to, getting it to stay. So much for my magic of TV because it's, um, I'm just going to have to do it like that and hope for the best. All right. Let's see, did I do it? Did it work? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. So, you know, when you go through like that, you can see now I have a texture on the whole thing because it was two layers thick. But it's fine. It's mostly going to be covered up. So we're good. Live TV. <laughs> All right. So let's get to uh, bringing this whole thing together. It's a pretty easy little design. And guess what? I forgot. <laughs> Just forgetting everything tonight. It's like... Pretend it's 18 years ago and, you know, and I am like a, a novice crafter because I completely forgot. I have to stick my, um, I have to put my, uh, my popsicle stick in. <laughs> Jeez Louise. And I can't even find my popsicle stick. Ah, there you go. Okay, so bottom line, here's what you would do. You're going to break it in two, right? And then before you attach this layer, you're going to stick your popsicle stick in there. Let me show you the big one that I did. Because the one that flashed across the screen when I first started and I wasn't supposed to show you. I want you to actually... Well, I'll show you that in a second. Let's stamp the front so you can actually see what the front looks like. So I'm going to use... There's a sentiment in the Berry Blessing set. Wishing you the very best, which is really um, perfect, wonderful. But I also love the sentiments from the sweet strawberry. So I'm going to use the happy birthday, you sweet thing, and all these products coordinate. Now I will say this stamp set and the punch are unorderable right now. Um, they've been super popular, but what we do know is that they're going to be in the annual catalog. So even though they're not orderable now, it will, they will stick around, which is a wonderful thing. It's apparently the punch that's the limiting factor uh, or the problem. So, and that is often the case. The dies and the punches seem to come from farther away. Okay, so I'm just going to take that happy birthday, you sweet thing, and stamp it right on the front. At the bottom, in my Pacific Point ink. And this is just such a fun, playful, festive card that happy birthday just seemed like the right thing to use. And... I'm going to make the berries kind of hanging down. Okay, so now you got to visualize the, the popsicle stick coming out of the bottom. Isn't that cute? I think it's so adorable. Just adorable. So can you imagine the strawberry? A strawberry in the front. Okay, so there's a cute little project with the sweet strawberry bundle that um, 
somebody sent to me. Isn't that adorable? It's so cute. So I'm seeing this color, the Poppy Parade, you know, with the strawberry and the little, you know, the cute little leaves and all that. And um, so a whole another color scheme of the same thing. And then I'm going to show you the, how I did the popsicle stick in a second. But before I do that, I also want you to just appreciate something else. Okay, so let's actually stamp our happy birthday again. And it's just on this piece of white, whisper white cardstock. I'm going to attach it to a piece of Pacific Point. It's going to go all the way side to side. And then I've got a piece of the gorgeous, very delightful designer paper that's going to go right there on the front. And I'm probably forgetting something, so I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive in the middle. <laughs> because uh, I know I have to do the little, you know, the, the bite. But can you just see it? Can you see how cute that is with that designer series paper? And, you know, the little... You know, and it's like I can see this with like every single one of the designer papers in this pack. It's the cutest thing. Okay, where's that paper? Somewhere around here. I showed it to you earlier. Yes. So, can you just see it? See this paper with, um, you know, I mean, it's just so cute, right? You got to make them for like a bunch of kids, right? And, and adults and just so festive and fun. Maybe for the 4th of July or something like that. Anyway, so that's another one. And last but not least, I'm going to show you my big card that I promised I would show you. Just throwing things around, this is what I do. So just get them all out of the way. <laughs> okay, so this one I created bigger. I thought, why not try it bigger? You know, so it can be a more full-size card. And it fits into like a business size envelope where you'd have to make like your own custom envelope. But I used the raspberries again with the, uh, this is um, rich raspberry for the inside of the raspberry and blackberry bliss for the outside. Um, and so for making the inside, uh, this is my example. Because you've got height to the, the stick, you have to use, um, raise it up. Now I know it's a little bit strange, right? Because how do you write on there? So I used foam adhesive sheets so that it wouldn't be as bumpy as if you use dimensionals. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the backings and assemble this one so you can appreciate how fun this large size popsicle is. So there we go with the inside. Is that not the cutest little thing or big thing? You like the big one, Robin? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so there's my cute, adorable, where did I put them all? I put them all off to the side. All my different variations of my card and visualizing the other variations. Okay, so this was my rewind. Right, so may, re rewinding and doing that one. Now I'm going to do a fast forward. Now I've never done a fast forward, so I've I've defined it as um, today as a, just today. <laughs> it's a new thing. So fast forward basically is I'm going to show you something that I've done recently that is so different <laughs> from this popsicle card. Now. Um, the popsicle card was not terribly hard, but neither is this new thing that I'm going to show you. Now, I'm only going to show you parts of it because here's the deal. I'm going to show you a, a focal piece that I created when I was playing with my technique class. And believe it or not, I created this with um, hand sanitizer and, of course, ink. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the process. It was part of my playing with rubbing alcohol technique class or the play that led up to it. Um, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to create a, a card from it. So I have lots of pieces and parts sitting around my craft room from 
all kinds of things that I've done in the past. This was not a terribly hard background to create. You can create backgrounds in all kinds of ways. But I thought it would be really fun to use the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set, which is, this is all one stamp. And I know some demonstrators are actually buying two of these and cutting up the images so that they can use them separately. Um, so I am going to stamp on this background because, you know, uh, it needs something, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put the tiniest bit of adhesive on here. Now I did use Gorgeous Grape ink to create this, you know, background. And I'm going to use some Jet Black Stays on with my butterflies. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stamp. I put the adhesive on there because this is such a big stamp that it's hard to find the right place for the magnet and have it not be in the way. And in an ideal world, if I don't get it well inked, I want to be able to ink it back up. And if it doesn't stay down on the paper, if it moves, then you probably don't want to stamp it again because, yeah, I see it moved. Well, it's actually attached to the stamp now. <laughs> um, but anyway, I won't be able to stamp it again because there's no way I'm going to get it in exactly the same spot. So let's just hope that I got a good image. Now, is that not pretty, right? So any kind of background, especially one that's sort of, you know, modeled in uniform-ish, kind of like that one, um, would work beautifully with these butterflies. I just think they're so pretty. So I'm going to stamp a few other things just because it's fun. And, uh, and then I'm going to show you a finish, finishing that card. So the other paper that's part of this suite that I pointed out that you will get if you sign up for the Butterfly Bouquet um, Stamp Camp is this wood grain paper. It actually feels like it actually has grain to it. I mean, if you look at it, it's, it's almost embossed. I think it may even be embossed to some small degree. I have not played with this yet, so you, I'm doing it here with you guys for the first time. So I thought it would be very fun to, um, to stamp it and see what it looks like with this image. Oh, and look, there's a backside. And the backside is a pretty neutral, fun backside. Nice, simple texture back there. Works. Okay, so let's just do this together and see what it looks like. I'm not making a card with this. I just, you know, this is going to be another piece that I have to play with later. But I just thought it would be very fun to share and to finally use some of this gorgeous paper. So let's see how it does on this paper. And it's lifting it up again. <laughs> so funny. Sticky ink. Ooh, look at that. So you can see, actually, you can see the grain in that paper because it, um, it didn't, you know, it didn't get in the grooves. Can you see that? Can you see the texture more? Anyway, very fun. Fun to see how that looks on that finished piece. All right, next up, uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I wanted to do another one. I'm going to show you another background that I created while I was playing with the alcohol uh, ink. I'm sorry, the playing with rubbing alcohol technique class. So in that class, I did a lot of experimenting, and I, I do do that. And the first piece that I created, um, I have a series here, was this one. And again, I'm not going to tell you how I did it. It's part of the class. But it was, you know, and then I added the gold later. The gold was not part of the initial thing that I made. But then what I did was I kissed my pieces. So I did something to this, and then I, I kissed them. And then the ink from this one came off onto this one. Now you can sort of see that it's a mirror image, the mirror image from one to the other. And it just pulled up some of the ink. It made this lighter and made that darker. And then I did the same thing with this original piece, again, pre-gold, and did it on regular cardstock, plain white cardstock. This one is um, a different card stack. Um, and, and it did, you know, it, it becomes more, it's not as uniform, right? It's not as smooth. This is a smoother, um, plastic, plasticky kind of paper. Whereas this one is just pl plain cardstock. It's more porous. It absorbed the ink and looks different. 
So these backgrounds, do I love them? No, not really. You're going, why is she showing us this? <laughs> oh, and Laura Lee, you think it's pretty? Oh, well, good. <laughs> I'm so glad. Anyway, I thought I would play with this one and do butterflies on it and to see if it looks pretty because anything with sort of a texture in the background is kind of seems to me like it might be quite pretty with these butterflies. So here we go. Let's see whether it looks good. If it looks good, then I can make a card with it or I can, you know, send it to somebody. Actually, I probably can't send it to somebody because I can't send stamped images unless they're on a finished card. Against Stampin' Up! Policy, dang it. Okay, let's just see what it looks like. Okay. So this is my, like, fast forward. Woohoo! Oh my, that's actually a lot prettier than I thought it was going to be. What do you guys think? <laughs> fun. So that means now that I feel, I feel compelled to make a card with it. So much fun. Okay, so I did one more, and I'm just going to say, this is also from the, my play, pre-play. I didn't do it in the class, but I did it in advance of the class, um, the Playing with Rubbing Alcohol Technique class. So this was my original, and then I lifted the first time, and then lifted the second time. So it's just fun, right? So it's darkest, and then it gets lighter as you lift off more ink. But great backgrounds. I just think these will be very fun backgrounds. Now, in this case, it's, you know, regular white cardstock, and I made it bigger than this one so that when I kiss them, I had an outside edge so I can play with this. So can you just see the butterflies looking really pretty on that one too? I know, so much fun. So if it seems like I'm plugging my technique classes, guess what? I am. <laughs> The technique classes are my favorite thing to do. So if I were, you know, reflecting back on way back to 18 years ago, I love doing the simple stuff. It's super fun. But get me playing with some ink on paper. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I want to be able to do it. I need more people to sign up for these classes. I'm just saying, I'm just going to unabashedly say it. So um, I want to keep doing them and I have grown those technique classes, but I need more people to sign up. So yes, I'm plugging. That's it. <laughs> I'm done. All right, so I stamped the butterflies also on some vellum. Figured that would be fun to play with. Uh, let's see, Laura Lee. Okay, well, I'm reading your comment, Laura Lee. Um, oh, the butterfly with the wood grain. You like that. Cool. Wonderful. Okay, so that just was fun, right? I mean, I could just sort of see it. You know, if I cut it down, maybe a black layer, just like super simple, put a sentiment on there. So what I was saying before is the older stuff, the things that I created way back were really simple, but these are not that complicated either, right? This stuff, you know, you got your, you got your background, so it involves something different and a little bit more and maybe more steps, but it's not complicated. Okay, so plain vellum over the top. Could that be pretty? I think so. A little black layer. Let's see how it looks on that. I mean, that could be fun too. I don't know. I like it just uh, seeing the whole thing. Same with the purple. It's fun to play with vellum. I watched my friend Wendy Lee the other day. She was playing with vellum in her, um, with her project and inspired me to play with some vellum. So I thought I would show you guys that. Okay, let's finish this last card that I... Where did I put the piece? Uh, 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 somewhere in the stack. You know what? Maybe I'll just show you the finished card because that would be easier because I know where the finished card is. There we go. Okay, that's what we'll do. So I, I did two of that one with my um, hand sanitizer. And I thought it would be really fun to find something to do with hand sanitizer because, you know, this is like the year of hand sanitizer, right? <laughs> So anyway, this was a finished one. I had a second layer of my gorgeous grape background that I did with the hand sanitizer. And um, I stamped it with uh, butterflies. And then just a little bit of ribbon, little simple embellishment. I mean, that's not complicated, right? I mean, yeah, you got to do the background. But other than that, it's, you know, it's pretty straight up. So I think that just turned out gorgeous. And, you know, there's only so many hours in the day I would create like 24-7 if I could. Um, and I certainly have enough like leftover pieces from all kinds of things to do that. But, you know, alas, there is work that has to be done. <laughs> all right, I'm going to show you one last little treat. 
Um, and I did show these to my technique class participants. We didn't make them in the class, but they were things I made afterwards. So again, I'm plugging my technique classes because they are just a blast. So this was one thing made where I added some gold after the fact, and I made a little bookmark with it. This was a scrap. I didn't even like it. And then I just was like, wow, maybe there's some potential there. Add a little ribbon. So that's very fun. This one was another one. After the class, played with some gold on my panels. These were actually scrap pieces that I was experimenting with and trying different colors. Made it into a four panel with um, four different papers in here. There's glossy cardstock and vellum in the mix. This one is silver foil. This is a variation on one of the projects made during the class. Same here. I'm going through these fast, but there you go. That one I didn't even think I liked. It's on vellum, but in the end, it turned out I loved it. And then there's another variation. So quick, fun, so much fun. <laughs> I love ink. Ink is my friend. All right, so that's actually it for my projects. Oh my gosh, and I keep, oh, I forgot. I forgot to ask you more hashtags, shoot. Okay, so um, comment and, okay, where are we? Uh, how many years you've been crafting? So hashtag crafting years. Comment and let me know how many years have you been crafting? Um, doing paper crafts in particular. Um, so just, you know, I know some of you out there um, have been doing this for years. So I know I'm not alone. All right, I'm gonna face the camera back at me and finish up with a few things. I want to see your comments and how long you've been crafting. Um, and of course, you're going to get entries for um, sharing and for tagging your friends. And um, I will do the um, drawing uh, just as I've been doing the last couple weeks, but I'll see who's shared, who's tagged. I'm going to give people who watch on YouTube and watch the replay. Oh my goodness, 25 years, Laura Lee. That's awesome. Joyce, five years, uh, Leah, 23, wonderful. Use that hashtag crafting years so that I can make sure to find you and enter you in the drawing. So those of you who are forgetting, do it. <laughs> Mary Beth, 20 years, wonderful, Fran. Okay, 24, yay, so much fun. Wow, 26 years. You guys should be teaching me. <laughs> Well, I, and I will say, and I, you're going to, like, I'm beating a dead horse here. When we did the technique class this last time in the new format in the Facebook group, it was so much fun. It was more like a workshop than a class because participants in the Zoom actually shared the things that they made and we talked about what they did. I even had, you know, my friend Peggy <laughs> in the group. She said, what, how would this, you know, work if I did this? And I was like, well, go do it and let us know. <laughs> and she went and did it and she let us know. It was really cool. Anyway, so I have much to learn from all of you guys as well. Oh my goodness, 60 plus years your whole life. Wow. <laughs> Good for you. I'm sure I have something to learn from you, Linda. So fun. Thanks, you guys, for, um, for chiming in, letting me know. Yes, still learning. There's so many things to do. I swear, when I first started this craft 18 years ago, I thought, I'm going to be bored of this in you know, maybe two years tops, right? Oh my gosh, look at me. <laughs> And you just kind of go deeper and deeper with it. Uh, it just gets more and more fun because you think of things that you never imagined you'd think of, right? Because you, you're in it for so long. Uh, you try new variations. Okay, so I have to show you one quick thing. So here's an example of like crazy me just experimenting with whatever. I have to show you the other thing. Okay, so I made this project the other day. And you guys might have seen it on my, on my website. I'm grabbing things I can't reach because I'm tethered. I have to show you the project so you'll know what I'm talking about. So this was on my blog. This project here. I'm sorry, that's not the right one. <laughs> this one. Is it backwards? No, it's right. So I used a mask. I used the, um, what is it called? The flowering vine dies. I used this. So I made a mask. I actually um, die cut it and then I put some of my my white glue on the back side let it dry so that it was tacky and then I could place it down I didn't do a video for this card so you're now getting like the tips so I put it down and then I sponged or used my blending brushes which are right behind me do you see them there I have a nice new holder for them that I got at um, stamp and storage anyway so here's the story so I was doing it and glue got on the front and can you see that there's all this cool texture and ink on the front I thought, 
okay, that's because there's glue on the front. Maybe I can use glue as a, um, as a resist, okay? So crazy me, I don't know how much I love this, but it was really fun to try. So I thought, well, I'm just gonna take a sponge and do like sponging all over my surface and let it dry like I do um, so that it's, um, you know, tacky but not wet. And then use my blending brush over the top. So I used um, some different colors in here to, do, to blend over the sort of dried splotches of glue. Just figured, why not, right? <laughs> So 18 years later, it may, you know, you just think of new things and it's just so fun. So anyway, clearly I love the craft as I know you guys do. All right, I'm gonna try to finish up because I could talk all day long and, um, and let you guys go on with your evening. So a couple reminders, Re remember to go check out the bell, see if you can s try to subscribe while we're live. Um, to um to my uh, to my videos and that way you'll see when i go live each time um i could make a card with the mask true true so you know what there's another cool tip if you um have an embossing buddy we don't carry it anymore as stampin up but if something's tacky and gluey you can take your embossing buddy and put it on the glue and it will de de-stickify it <laughs> That's my word, de-stickify. So it's a kind of nice, nice tip if you have something sticky. You don't want it to be sticky anymore. Okay, um, let's see what else. Okay, so reminders. So um, reminders about the bell. Don't forget about my 18 year anniversary special. If you're not a newsletter subscriber, um, subscribe. And if you are not a subscriber, you don't know how to subscribe, <laughs> Well, you can go to my, my website and you'll see a link there, but you can always uh, tag me here in this Facebook Live and say, I need a link to subscribe and I will send it to you. Um, and then you'll have all the information about the 18 year anniversary special offer, all the gifts and stuff that I'm giving away. Um, and don't um, forget to register for the Butterfly Bouquet Stamp Camp if you're interested, 12 projects, all the cutting and um, there's some die cutting done for you. You'll be doing some of the die cutting with the bundle that you'll need, the butterfly um, bouquet bundle or the butterfly brilliance, I think is what it's called. Um, yeah, and share and tag um, and invite people to come next next week. Um, you can always forward them my newsletter if you um, uh, to let them know and my, the, the date is always in there. So um, anyway, uh, I think that concludes all that I need to say. I will be back next Thursday, 318, March 18th. And of course, I'm gonna have prizes then as well. I will draw the winners um, on Monday and announce, um, oh, 16 years for you, Megan, wonderful. Um, the winners of the four prizes. And I'll be looking through to see if anybody indicated a preference for the coasters or, um, or the designer paper or whatever. <laughs> Again, aiming to please. Um, and uh, my blog post for these projects will be up on Saturday. That's my typical. So you'll be able to see all the details and dimensions and all that good stuff on my blog. All right. <laughs> I've been talking a long time. I need to take a break. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for joining in um, for Treehouse TV and my Rewind, Redo, and my Fast Forward, <laughs> my new Fast Forward project. Um, and I hope you'll join in next week and invite friends too. So um, have a wonderful evening and, and happy crafting. <laughs> Bye everybody. Happy popsicles. Go have a popsicle. <laughs> now I need to go buy some. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, yes. And go back and watch the beginning if you missed the prizes. Let's see. First technique, heat embossing. Yay, I can't wait to see all the other things that you... Oh, heat embossing, of course. That's like the best. That ah when it, the gold turns shiny <laughs> oh i'm glad you love the fast forward yay i'm glad you guys are chiming in with your preferences wonderful all right everybody we'll let you go have a wonderful evening and we'll see you next week Mwah! love you bye <laughs>